Really, truly, when you're talking about EOS and traction, what you're talking about is real world, simple, practical tools. So as I said, you're gonna get a new lens for your business, but you are also gonna get practical tools that are useful. You can walk out of here today and use them. What are they doing? Because some of them did all that same growth-oriented, chaotic, um, smart, sharp, nimble, wanting to grow, but they had something left over at the end of the day and they were balanced and they were doing exciting things and they weren't spent and they got back a return on their investment that seemed fair. And he went, what's that one out of 40 doing that the other 39 are not? Because that's the second company. And that's really what traction, that's what EOS is based on. So the big question of today is, are you running your business or is it running you? So at the center of the model is your business, meaning it's got to be at the heart of things because that's where it all starts. And around this, in that different lens to see your business, you're going to see the six key components that Gino's come up with. In any entrepreneur's world, what we're all keenly aware of is there's 136 things going on any given minute, right? You've got this and that, and it's all happening at once. It doesn't come sequentially, it doesn't come easily. It's all at once, all the time. So how do you simplify that world? Well, to the degree that you can strengthen these six key components and sort those 136 things, they have a wonderful way of starting to simplify so you can address them with the right tool and get to the heart of things and get moving on. The traction component is where the book gets its name. It's where the rubber meets the road. It is where we take discipline, focus, and accountability right to the people that are doing the work every single day. That's every one of us in a small company. And what we're talking about here is your purpose, cause, or passion, the greater why you're in business. What gets you out of bed? Why do you exist? And then your niche or niche is what do you have superior skill to do? So why and what? When you put those together, to me, that makes the guardrails of the highway the business is on. So one guardrail is why, one guardrail is what, and that's the road we're going down. Never to waver, no off ramps or shiny objects as we like to call them. What we are doing is staying on this track. So we use this to determine whether what we're about to embark upon, endeavor upon, really truly is core to who we are and what we're up to as a group. Otherwise, we can't go after it. It's a good idea, it's not a great idea, gang. The reason this is a movement taking off is because it really, really works for small business. It's not for big complex entities, it's for our businesses.